Hello friends, this is School Fees Management System, video tutorial series. And in this part, we will show you, how to enable or disable, user login. Under the School Fees Management System, by using PHP, with MySQL database. In this system, we will not delete or remove, user data, but here, we will use, soft delete feature. So user data will not be deleted, from system, but only status will be changed. So if status is disabled, then user cannot log in into system, and only enable status, user will log in into system. Now let's start discussing this topic. So first we want to create, soft delete button. So we have goes to action.php file, and under this file, here we have create, one delete button variable, with blank value. So under this variable, we will store, dynamic delete button code, in HTML format. So when user status is enabled, then disable button must be display. So in this block, we have to write, dollar delete button variable is equal to. Button tag, with type attribute is equal to button, class attribute is equal to, button, button danger and button small class. After this, we have to write, on click attribute is equal to, delete data function, with two argument. In first argument, we have to write, dollar row admin id variable value, and in second argument. We have to write, dollar row admin status variable, so this function will enable or disable, user login status. And in button text, we have to write, disable, so it will make disable button, and now for enable button, we have goes to, else block of code. And here we have to write, dollar delete button variable is equal to, button tag, with type attribute is equal to, button. After this, on click attribute is equal to, delete data function, with two argument, and in first argument. We have to write, dollar row admin id variable, and in second argument, we have to write, dollar admin status variable. And in button text, we have to write, enable, so it will make enable button, so here our dynamic delete button is ready. Now here, we have to write, dollar delete button variable, so it will display, delete button, in each row of data. Now here, we have to refresh web page, and after refresh of web page, here we can see that. Here delete button has been created, in each of data, so when, we have click, on this button. Then that user status will be changed to, enable or disable, so for this feature, we have goes to, user.php file. And here, we have to write, delete data function, with two argument like, id and status variable. Under this function, we have to write, new status variable is equal to, enable. And below this, we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. Status variable value is equal to enable, so if this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code. And under this block, we have to write, new status variable value is equal to disable, so it will change, new status variable value. Now here, we have to write, if statement and under condition, we have to write, confirm method. And under this, we have to write, are you sure, you want to enable or disable this user. So it will pop up dialog box, on web page, with this message, so when, we have click, on ok button, then it will execute, if block of code. And under this block, we have to write, window.location.href is equal to, user.php file, with question mark, with action variable value is equal to, delete. And id variable is equal to, dynamic value of id variable, and status variable is equal to, dynamic value of new status variable.
So it will redirect web page to this URL and it will enable or disable user status. Now we have goes to PHP code part and here we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write PHP is set function and under this function we have to write dollar get action variable comma dollar get id variable comma dollar get status variable After this we have to write and operator with dollar get action variable value is equal to delete If this condition true then it will execute if block of code and it will proceed for enable or disable user status Under this block we have to write dollar admin id variable is equal to dollar get id variable value And below this we have to write dollar status variable is equal to dollar get status variable value So here we have store get url variable value in local variable and now here we have to write dollar data variable is equal to an array in array first key we have to write double colon admin status and in value we have to write dollar status variable in array second key we have to write double colon admin id and in value we have to write dollar admin id variable So here we have store data under this dollar data variable in an array format. Now below this we have to write dollar query variable is equal to update query like update admin table. Set admin status column value is equal to double colon admin status key value and in where condition. We have to write admin id table column value is equal to double colon admin id key value. Now below this query we have to write dollar statement variable value is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare method and under this we have to write dollar query variable so it will prepare query for execution and now we want to execute this query so here we have to write dollar statement variable with execute method with dollar data variable as argument so it will execute above update query and it will change sub user status column data and after this we want to redirect web page so here we have to write header function and under this function we have to write location which is set to user.php file with question mark message variable value is equal to dollar status variable value so it will redirect web page to this url now we want to display success message on the web page So here we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write dollar get message variable value is equal to disable or dollar get message variable value is equal to enable If this condition true then it will execute if block of code and under this block here we have to write PHP echo statement with message like user status change to dynamic value of dollar get message variable so it will display this message on the web page so here our code is ready now we have to check output in the browser friends here we can see that disable button has been display in each row of data Now we have to refresh web page and after refresh of web page here also we can see disable button in each row of data Now we want to disable login of this user so here we have to click on disable button so after click on button Here we can see pop up message like are you sure you want to disable this user with okay and cancel button So we have to click on okay button so after click on okay button here we can see that User status has been changed to disable and here we can see success message on the web page. And here we can see that enable button has been display in the row of disable user. Now in another browser we can see login button so here we have enter disable user login details. And after this we have to click on login button so after click on login button here we can see that Account has been disabled message has been display on the web page so now we have goes to admin area and now we have enable this user login by click on this enable button so it has ask confirmation before enable user login
So here, we can see that, user status has been enabled, and now disable button has been displayed. Now in this browser, we have again enter, enable user login details, and after this, we have click on login button, so after click on login button, here we can see that, user can login into system, and this is because, user login has been enabled, so this way, we can enable or disable user login. Under the school fees management system, and in next part, we will start, academic year module, so we will be meet in next part.